Now today, we've got a very interesting difference. This is the fifth one. Dr. Showers, the Bible indicates that there is a difference in the number of signs that are given for each event. Take the rapture, okay? There are absolutely no signs, the Bible says, that have to take place before the rapture can occur. And the key verse is 1 Thessalonians 1, 10. Paul says to the Thessalonians, you know, you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for His Son from heaven. That wait for, the Greek word is anamenein, okay, to wait up patiently for Jesus from heaven, whom He raised from the dead, and He's the one who delivers us, He rescues us from the wrath to come. Whereas at the second coming, we're going to see that Matthew 24 says, before Jesus can come, I'm going to give you a whole list of signs. But first of all, talk about the rapture, that there's no signs that have to take place before that event. Yeah, and, and that verse 2 in 1 Thessalonians, it's a Greek present tense, which means continuously, that the Thessalonian Christians believed that Christ could come at any moment, so they were continuously uh, waiting, continuously waiting for Him to come which said that uh, Paul apparently had taught them, you can't count on something else having to appear before Jesus comes to take you to be out of the world. Whereas by contrast, when you look at what the Scriptures say, uh, what's leading up to the second coming of Christ back to planet Earth, you're going to have a revived Roman Empire uh, formed, you're going to have a world dictator, the Antichrist come to take control uh, of things here upon planet Earth, and you're going to have uh, wars and uh, pestilences and, and all the rest taking place before Christ comes out of heaven down to planet Earth in the second coming. And so there are many, many, many things that must take place according to the Bible before the second coming of Christ coming back to get rid of Satan's rule from the world system and restore God's theocratic kingdom rule back to planet Earth again. Yeah, let me give you another one. James says, Hey, do not complain, brethren, against one another, that you yourselves may not be judged. Behold, the judge, the Lord Jesus, is standing right at the door. Exactly. What was he implying right there? The implication. He could step through that door of heaven at any moment and, and catch you up, you know, uh, from the earth. And you'd be embarrassed <clears throat> if you were involved in sin. Right. And again, John in 1 John chapter 2, verse 28, uh, said to believers, uh, you better keep yourself in right relationship spiritually with the Lord because He could come at any moment and snatch you up and you'll be face to face with Him and you, you want to not be embarrassed at His coming, what you were doing uh, whenever He came, and, and etc. So that again, that's an imminency passage. He could come at any moment and so every moment of every day, you better be careful in your relationship with the Lord Jesus because the next moment you may be face to face with Him. So on the rapture, there are no signs, nothing that has to happen before Jesus comes at the rapture. He could come any moment, okay? 